Hello everyone, I'm Muhammad Muhammad, the founder of MMB Studios and right now I'm going to show you how I rig a 2D cutout character for 2D animation in Cinefix Studio. Alright, now let's start. Uh, let's start by setting our canvas properties. Now let's import these pictures right here. I have made a tutorial on how to model a 2D cutout character. If you haven't checked it out, you can check it out in my channel. And uh, I have leave a link to download these picture files in the description. So you are free to download it and use it for this tutorial and anything you like. This is our layer panel and this is our canvas. So in our layer panel, let's select this image right here and let's go down as while holding shift we select the last image layer and let's click on this folder icon right here this is the group and we have group it let's change the name to character and okay now what we need to do is uh, let's while selecting this character folder this orange point right here is used for scaling so now let's scale it downwards because as you can see it has filled up our canvas the images have filled out our canvas what we are going to do right now is uh, we are going to arrange image layers accordingly in the layer panel and we are going to arrange the objects where they are supposed to be so let's arrange them by selecting on each layer and holding this green point right here so we can move an object all right now let's start we can select multiple objects by while holding control and selecting them one by one and we can arrange them by clicking up this up icon here or down to move the layers down this is just like this works just like the photo, adobe photoshop layer panel so now we've moved it to the top in the layer panel now it's time to arrange it while holding left click drag i've highlighted all the points now while holding this green i'm going to move it upwards arranged it accordingly in the layer panel this is how you should arrange it starting from the purple eye just like the way I did it down to the neck while holding control we select the pupil the eye the brow eyebrow the head and let's click this folder icon that is the group and group it now let's change the group name to head now you can see when we try to move it while holding this green they are moving together and control z to bring it back in its original place like we set it now it's time for the skeleton 
I'm going to create a skeleton for this character right here and uh, we're going to create two skeletons that is the upper body skeleton and the lower body skeleton now you right click in the layer panel new layer uh, other and skeleton now let's double click and rename it to upper skeleton now let's zoom it a little bit to show you something right here this green point right here is like the pivot point so you can draw move the skeleton by holding the pivot point and, and this orange we can use to extend or elongate the skeleton and this blue is used for rotation so what we are going to do now is we are going to finish creating the bones that we need before we link those bones so now while we click on this green uh, we click on this blue point right here right click and create child bone set the pivot point here and elongate extend it by clicking on this orange all the bones uh, what we are going to do now is we are going to link those bones to the right part now let's click on head while holding control we click on the upper skeleton and uh, let's select this green point and the green transfer point for the transformation of the head and let's go back to the green point here and right click then link to bone then we select this then we select this bone alone you see it's linked properly now that's how we are going to do to the rest of the body parts we are going to select skeleton Now we're done linking the upper skeleton as you can see. Oops, we forgot the neck. Control Z. Let's select the neck. Now let's link the neck. is linked in place now what we will do is we right click new layer other and uh, skeleton well the let's double click and name it lower skeleton that is the lower body skeleton uh, let's drag this green point this orange let's extend it downwards uh, let's right click create child one we're going to do the same thing first let's create all the bones needed before we start linking everything in place now we're going to do the same thing we're going to select each body part and link it to the
Okay now as you can see our skeleton is successfully rigged. Now we can save our project by clicking on file, save and you can choose a location to save it. I'm gonna save mine in my documents and I hope you enjoy the video and if you do don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm going to be uploading more tutorials on uh, 2D animation using Synfix Studio and uh, thank you very much.